Hello and welcome to Reempt. Today we're gonna do this fantasy landscape, so just stay tuned. Mountains, rivers and a ruin. That's like the fantasy starter pack. For this photo manipulation I combined nine images and doubled some elements for different parts of the edit. It was a bit of a back and forth in positioning and color grading but I left it for you as it is. In general most of the photo manipulation youtubers try out and prepare their edits before they hit the record button. Even I did it in my previous videos. But don't get me wrong, I really admire all the tutorial YouTubers out there because I learned everything I know in Photoshop and photography from YouTube. But for rookies or sometimes even veterans that could be frustrating when things don't work out in the first place. And on YouTube it always looks so easy. Even the Photoshop gurus out there still have to try out what works and what not. Photoshop is just a big playground. So don't give up and just play around with styles and elements. But I already said too much, you want to see a tutorial and you should get a tutorial. This time speedrun style, so let's jump right in. Mech, this guy talks too much, so let's not waste any more time. Starting off with a really epic landscape, we change our working mode as usual to 16 bits. At the first image of Dude on the Rocks which sounds like a cocktail. Anyway, for the grading I used a curves and a color balance adjustment layer. Then I thought the guy's a bit too far on the side, so I extended the picture to get the guy a bit more towards the center. Fill the gap with the stem tool and we're good to go. But you also can leave it as it was, it's totally up to you. Next up, let's add a riverbed. To cut it out, I used the lasso tool and refined some parts with the brush tool. For the color and contrast adjustment, I used a combination of curves, color balance and a hue and saturation adjustment layer. The cool thing with the hue and saturation adjustment layer is that you can also adjust single colors or a color spectrum, which comes in really handy. I'm gonna pick the topic up in a future video. By the way, for the colors here, I went back later because it didn't fit the final combination. Let's pimp our mountain on the left with another mountain. To cut it out I would recommend the lasso tool in that case because you can chitter a bit when you follow the edge of the rock. It's just important that you stay in line. And it doesn't matter if you lose a bit of the mountain, you won't see it afterwards. To make a better selection for the trees, right click the mask and go to select and mask. Here you can use the refine edge brush to let Photoshop do the magic. With landscape images it's often easy to blend in the edges by simply painting it in with a soft round brush and the mask. Well, now we're missing a bit of the mountain on the far left side. Just go back to the background layer, select the part with the lasso tool and copy and paste it. To blend it in just add a mask. I wanted to give the mountain more of the fantasy vibe and added a part from another mountain. Let's go back to the center. I already have a picture of a lake which is quite nice for the center. It's a bit off with the river. I know physics don't work like that but it. It's our fantasy world so it works. Let's say there is a waterfall or something. By the way the colors are not working here but we're coming back to that later. Before that, we are dealing with the mountain on the right and make it to something really special. I liked the picture we used to extend the mountain on the left side, so I placed it on the right side as well. Together with that, let's use a completely different rock formation. To cut it out, I would recommend the lasso tool again. For me, it's just practical in this case. As we can see here, one mountain is a bit too blurry, so I opened it in Camera Raw and sharpened it. I kind of overdid it here, so I went back later to fix it. Better go with a bit less right now. Again some blending and as you can see I used the curves, hue and saturation and the color balance adjustment layer all the way here to blend in the colors. With this added we can eyeball it, because we're doing some heavy color grading in the end which blends everything together. Don't forget to name and group up the layers for a better overview. So it's time to add an old ruin. For the cutout I used the alpha channels which are also used in the space climber edit. 
I will put in the link of the video in the description. There I got a bit more in depth with the alpha channel so you can follow along easier. To blend in the base just extend the trees on the pointy mountain because they are looking like bushes. Then as I mentioned a lot of back and forth in the grading. I shut up now so you can enjoy the music. So here we go! To blend everything together, let's do a camera raw adjustment on a combined layer. Yep, sometimes I can't decide in which direction I want to go with the toning. But it's also fun to play around a bit. To give it a special touch, I finalized it with Analog FX Pro and one of my presets. At the end I got annoyed with the colors of the guy's hat, so I went back and got rid of the colors here. When I reapplied the finalization, I also added a glamour glow and an Indian summer effect from Color Effects Pro. Finally done. And here is our final result. Alright, we did it! And as always, I provide you the links down in the description. So there are just two more things to say, have a nice day and stay creative. Whatever. Rock and roll, man. <laughs>